Super Bowl 42 from the University of Phoenix Stadium will either be remembered as the day the Patriots stayed undefeated or the day the Giants had one of the biggest upsets in Super Bowl history. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you as we finish up Countdown to Kickoff, presented by Comcast from Glendale, Arizona, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Hey, Jason. It's been a great season, Pat. We, we wind up, we've broken down every single game this year. How do you see this one playing out? You know, I just think that when you look at the matchups, Tom Brady has a lot of ways to get you, to go through the playoffs and really throw the ball one time in each game to Randy Moss and still dominate opponents. They told you a couple of things. They told you they can run the ball when they want to. This is not a, a facade running attack. This is a legitimate attack. We're now looking at a game that has Stephen Neal and Nick Kayser back in the lineup. They were not in the giant game. Stephen Neal pulling and leading the power running game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Another 4-3 defense was very impressive. I think there's going to be a reason to run the ball 25 times this game. From the Patriots. So you, you, what do you expect them to do? Do you expect them to come out four wide receivers as they have some points or come out and run? I think they're going to come out in multiple personnel groups in the first quarter and find out which matchups they like the best. That's what Bill's good at. I took a look at the running game. They ran the ball in the playoffs in nine different personnel groups. And so when you think about that, he runs through them fast, sees where he likes the matchups, sees if you're going to go to nickel, sees if you're going to go to dime or stay in base, and then he's going to attack you in the one he likes. Be careful and pay attention to Kyle Brady's presence on the field. Kyle Brady in the game is about 80% run tendency, and no one can stop it when they do it. And, of course, Lawrence Maroney, the first Patriots since the 85 Patriots when Craig James had back-to-back 100-yard -back games. Maroney has done that this season right. as well. Let's fill in the blank here. A couple few sure. questions. You fill in the blank. If the Giants pull off the upset, this will be why. They'll, if they pull it off, it's because they finally got to Tom Brady. They hit him eight times last time, sacked him just once. they got to convert four of those hits into sacks. And the other hits have got to force a turnover. Stay with the Giants. If they win, this player will have had the biggest impact. If they win, Eli Manning will have the biggest impact in this game. Can we keep this in mind? Vrabel, Adelius Thomas, the guys who are supposed to get the pressure on the quarterback, no sacks, no quarterback hits in the playoffs. That's got to change. If the Patriots win, they are the best team of all time. They are the best team of all time. We should stop the argument. Give me a year off from that debate. They're 19-0. They've done something that no one else has ever done. They've overcome adversity, and they've beat people multiple ways. If the Patriots win... The Giants will score how many points? I see the Giants capable of getting 24 points against this defense. Plaxico Burris is going to have his way with a couple of his defensive backs, especially Ellis Hobbs. And remember, four touchdowns by Eli Manning throwing in the red zone. Have your running game get you the red zone? Take a couple shots at the end. Let me rephrase what I actually wanted to get to. For the Patriots, uh, for the Giants to beat the Patriots, they'll have to hold New England to how many points? I think if New England uh, is held down, uh, understand this in the playoffs, their point total went from the 37 a game to 26 a game. If you can get them down there, how did that happen? They reduced Randy Moss to a decoy, and it did minimize the points. Randy had 12 points in the first matchup with the Giants. If he's held down to one catch, all of a sudden, they're reachable in the fourth quarter. Now, let's not forget, this man has 23 touchdown receptions this season. Of course, an NFL record. Tom Brady, 50 touchdown passes. Of course, another NFL record. Pat, we've been skirting this. We've been asking all the people all week long, uh, uh, our Super Bowl MVPs or Hall of Famers, what their prediction is. Some have given some, some haven't. Uh, what's your prediction? You know, the weather conditions are going to be absolutely perfect, and that tells me that the Patriots will get back on their 37 points a game average. I'd see 38, 37, 38 points in the Patriots. I think the Giants come in here and had a heck of a season and fizzled with about 24. They're going to make a mistake late in the game to get back into this, and that's where they'll make that turnover mistake, and yet the Patriots will get one extra touchdown. So you think it'll be a two-touchdown game throughout? I think this is going to be close at the end of the third okay. quarter. And then I think the Giants are going to just slip one time. We'll see how, uh, you know, the funny thing is the Giants had that 28-16 lead in week 17. They did slip. The Patriots went down the field and, and, and of course, won the and game. And I'll refresh everyone's memory on how it happened. In the fourth quarter, Belichick had enough of letting Eli have his way with them. He turned to the six-man blitz pressure, and he got after him. And you look at those six-man pre six pressures. There were seven times it was called, four yards passing, a sack, and uh, two Defended balls. They got nothing done when Bill turned the heat up. Folks, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin has all the knowledge. He's done it all season long with us. Three years running. 
It's been a good run for it. Thanks, kids. Let's see how we'll get our way to Tampa next year. Folks, it has been absolutely a blast out here in Glendale, Arizona. I want to thank uh, everyone here who's been uh, helping us with CNN, of course, Tony Lamb, uh, Jeff Grunther, Orlando Ruiz, and our folks back in New York City as well. Tom Curley, our director, Chris Roth Rothweiler, our uh, associate producer, of course, Corey Shim as well, and the people down in the truck here from New York, Matalago and Peter Smith. Folks, for Pat Kerwin and, uh, and, uh, and Randy you, Cross. And Jason Horowitz. And everybody else that's been with us here. It's been a blast. I'm I'm Jason Harvey. Thanks for reminding me who I am. Hope you enjoy Super Bowl 42. Take care, folks.